I think we got him. No, I don't know. He might be a little wrapped. Oh, 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 this is on the, the bluegill head. At least we got that on the my heavy duty pole. I, oh, just saw the water move right there. Oh man. Oh, I knew there was something big in here. Well, hey guys, welcome back to Hook by Hurley. I want to see what Terry's using here before he throws it out there. Oh, a little Straight King jobber. I like these. I think I got the same one in my uh, my tackle box. Over here at Dobson Ranch, early morning, I'm going to go with a little Yum Dinger drop shot on a wacky rig. I got a hot dog floating over here. We saw two huge carp when we came up, and I did not bring my tortilla. Oh. And the ducks are laughing at us already. Man, last time we were here, what was that like a week and a half, two weeks ago? Right here, you were throwing a, a worm yep. and got hammered. Mm -hmm. And we missed him. We didn't get anything that day, but we're back again to see if, uh, if the bass are biting or whatever. We got some stuff. Did you bring any uh, bait? Nope. Well, I got worms and hot dogs and stuff if you want to use them. I, they were right next to the tortillas that I had from the canal and I almost grabbed them and I was like, oh, you got some? Yeah. Nice, right off the bat. Boom! On the, Boom, on the Strike King. All That's right. My Woo. Wow, I got to switch to the spinner now. <laughs> that was fast. Yeah. See, it was the bait all along, man. Awesome, I didn't have awesome, any awesome. Yesterday. Nice. Yeah, you know, dink or dink, but he's chunky. Yeah, a little one pounder probably. There we go, one down. Third nice. pass of the year. Jeez, that's <laughs> awesome. Oh, uh oh. Down he goes, down he goes. Go, he's trying to make go, it. Go, Get go, in the water. Go. Here, let me see. <laughs> we'll get a good view for, for the camera. Hey, we caught one. Enough. No skunks today. There ah. you go. Awesome. Thanks. I was just thinking the same thing, but I figured you're throwing a spinner. <laughs> let me try the drop, and then I'll switch. I'm gonna go with this teeny, teeny, teeny little hook and a piece of worm. Try to see if we can't get a live bluegill for bait. They've been eating that hot dog, so here. You can easily engulf that. I was like, how did my bobber get all the way over there by the shore? It was way out in the middle. Yeah. Cause I got something. We got something. We got ourselves a bluegill. We got bait. There we go. Bluegill head. He swallowed the hook, so, and he was too big for live bait. That explains why my pole was all the way against the wall. He swam all the way over here. Well, enough, so much for that. We had a, we actually had a fish on the bluegill head, and then uh, I was trying to get the camera, and the line snapped on us. I think it got caught on the wall or something. Yeah. But so much for that. We're back out here again for day two. Last time we were here, Terry got a, a bass. I got a bluegill that I ended up using for bait. 
and uh, we used it for cut bait and uh, it snapped my line off camera but maybe today we can actually get something I got some worms I got tortilla Well, I'm back over at this location today where me and Terry were the first time a few days ago and he got that bass and we got a bluegill and I got broken off on that bluegill head. So I'm going to try over here for a little bit under this tree. Well, Terry had to head home, but I'm going to stay, see if we can't get something. Still got a bobber out for a bluegill. Spend all day trying to catch a, a fish for bait. Last time they hammered it before I could even like put the pole down. All right, here we go, guys. Finally got some bait. Hey guys, last time I was here, we used a bluegill head. You can see he's still breathing, kind of breathing. But we used one of these last time, a bluegill head, and was able to get a big hit. Snap on the head. A little tug on the head. Very light tug on the head. And we got a spider on our line. Maybe that'll be good luck. Now we have to just sit and wait. I did bring, I picked these up because Mike with the uh, casting for catfish and I've seen other people that have these come in very handy when it comes when you want to weigh a fish or handle them well, you know. So I picked up these Rapala grips they're plastic. I wanted to go with plastic. I feel like it was better than the metal on them. And then I have my scale with me so I can just weigh the fish this way. So hopefully, I haven't had a chance to use these yet, so maybe we can today. And I just grabbed these on Amazon. If you're interested, I'll throw a link down below. Oh, 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 we got a big one. Okay, we got something on this one. We're tangled though, we're tangled on something. Let me check to see we're recording. All right, sorry about that. Wanted to make sure I turned this camera on. Feels like we're kind of wrapped on something though. Let's see if we can get them off. I think we got them. No, I don't know. We might be a little wrapped. Oh, 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 this is on the, the bluegill head. At least we got that on the my heavy duty pole. I, oh, just saw the water move right there. Oh man. Oh, I knew there was something big in here. Come on. Oh man. I hope my net's big enough for this guy if we can land him. Come here. There's a lot of rocks to get tangled on down there. Oh, this guy's a monster. I see, he feels like one. Oh, oh man. Oh, come on. Just looking to see where the net is. It's under the tree, but I think we're gonna have to tire this guy out for a while and hope he doesn't get tangled. 
Don't go over there. There's a lot of stuff to tangle on along the wall. There he is. See him on the wall? Oh man, there's a big boy. Come here. Come uh, uh. on. Uh. Uh. Oh. oh my gosh, I think that's a flathead. Holy cow, if that's a flathead, I think it is. Holy cow, it's a flathead, I'm pretty sure. I have never caught a flathead before, at least not like this size. I've caught baby flatheads, but this thing, it's a big ass flathead. Holy cow, look at the size of this dude. Oh man. Look at the size of this monster. Holy cow. Did not know they had flatheads in here. He is not gonna fit in my net. Look at how big he is. Holy cow. Uh. Oh my gosh. Oh, this one, you wish you had your bigger net and someone to help you. Come here, bud. Oh, this might be one of the biggest catfish I've ever caught. Uh. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Oh, okay, come here. We may have to get wet. There may be no choice in the matter here to get this guy in. Uh, I cannot get my line. Come here. I do not want to lose this guy. Come here. Oh my God, he, like, look at him compared to my net. There's just no way. We're going in. We're going in, guys. Uh. Uh. Oh. Yes. Oh. Oh. Holy cow. This thing is a beast. No wonder my line got broke last time. Come here, guy. Ow. Oh, man, he bites hard. All right, come here. I got to get that hook out. Oh, holy cow. Oh. All right. Wow, this is amazing, guys. I am glad that we... All right, we're on pounds. Let's hope this thing can hold him. All right, here we go. Uh, look at that, guys. I don't know, 16, 17 pounds. Holy cow. Look at the size of that beast, guys. 17 pound flathead, flathead catfish. This thing is a monster. Wow. You guys see how big that is? That is insane. All right, guys. Let's get this big monster back in the water. Ah. Oh. We had to get wet to get him. Look at that monster. 17 pound flathead. Wow. Woo. That thing is enormous. Hey buddy, you ready to go? This is probably with a guy that broke our line off the other day. No wonder, 10 pound fluoro. I'm so glad he bit on the, the big line. All right, see ya, buddy. Thank you. From friend who, best. He's just gonna hang out right here. He is probably tired, like I am. Whew. Awesome, guys. Well, that's what I wanted to do today. Last time I was here with Terry, I threw out the same thing, a head of a bluegill. 
on my smaller rod I wasn't expecting something this big in here and uh, it got hammered off camera Terry tried to fight it for me while I was grabbing my camera and uh, my line snapped and that had 20 pound braid with a 10 pound fluorocarbon leader on it and uh, I know Terry was kind of upset he thought he did something wrong but that thing just snapped the line so today I made sure to bring my heavy duty catfish pole which has got 50 pound braid on it and uh, boy am I glad I did so I did the same thing we caught ourselves a live bluegill used the head again this probably was in there maybe 30 minutes about the same as last time and uh, same area right here and uh, just got hammered again Whew, that was exciting I just want to make sure this guy's okay he's probably just really tired right now all right buddy Let's make sure you're okay. Come on. Oh, he tried to bite me. Get out of here, buddy. Look at this guy. This thing is huge. Yeah, he's just tired. You ready to go now, buddy? All right. See you, buddy. Oh, that was freaking amazing. Ah. Oh. Oh guys, that was freaking awesome. Yeah, that's uh, my first like legit uh, flathead. I have caught two before. One at Lake Pleasant that might have been about a pound or so about 15 years ago. And then another baby at Tempe Town Lake. I mean, we're talking baby. Uh, that 17 pounder was amazing. One of the biggest catfish I've caught in a long time. Uh, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. Stick around for more content. And I'll see you guys in the next video.